That's why Australia is just crazy about... The Matildas had a great stage yesterday and they didn't waste it. They had a, a sellout crowd of 15,000 in as they went up against Brazil. Again, they were front page news in the build up, not quite as much in the post today uh, throughout the national papers. But their strike force of Lisa Devana and Sam Kerr is this is the best thing you can do is they are they are the most prominent national team at the moment with their performances this year. And to have both strikers score in front of a, a huge crowd with so much attention, you can't deliver better than that and a win to boot. Yeah, and not just score, score two technically excellent goals, like a long running strike and then a perfect header from a, a great cross. It was wonderful. There was a little <laughs> bit of controversy from some people about sending the game out to Penrith. They were like, oh, is this a disrespect? They're sending them out to a lesser stadium. I think it was perfect. Western Sydney is such a heartland of Australian football and you could see the hunger for the game and, and for this team in particular out there. It was fantastic. They couldn't have staged it better. They couldn't have performed better. So well done to the Matildas, but also that was a good win for the FFA. And now to Newcastle. Oh, I must admit, I'm in the camp. No, I'm not critical or controversial. I just thought there is a moment where if you truly believe in this, you, you move them to a big arena. I think they're box office at the moment, the Matildas. And I still think they're yeah. being underestimated, but maybe it's progressive. No, maybe I think you sell it's progressive. out there yeah, yeah. in Penrith, sell out in Newcastle, and the next time around yeah. you put them at the football To stadium. get a bigger crowd than an AFL semi-final, yeah. albeit with it involving a new club, is a mighty effort. Mm. And bringing up AFL again, these girls have achieved a, a good pay rise, mm. not the money some people think they deserve, but good money and more money than it will you'll get f for playing AFLW. Yeah, and it's specifically targeted at that. It was really interesting, yeah. actually, the St Kilda CEO recently was the first AFL person I've ever seen actually say he wants a, a female AFL, uh, he wants an AFLW team because of soccer on the peninsula, where their area is. And it's true, but they don't say it. It was kind of interesting mm -hmm. that he admitted that. And this is soccer striking back, football striking back. So it's a really interesting to and fro yeah. between those codes. And good for women athletes because it's driving the market up. Yeah, there, there is this debate in Sydney over what stadiums are going to get upgraded. And uh, there's, a, there's a pushback against the idea of spending on ANZ and making it a proper rectangular stadium. This will, this will bolster that argument. Mm -hmm. And the argument about AFL crowds in Sydney we need to have a look at the TV numbers as well, not just for the Giants, but also mm. for the Swans. Uh, Swans numbers aren't great on TV either, which after so many years and premierships and success, and the host broadcaster, Channel 7, uh, most of this year has been running it on the second channel. Even Friday night's game against Geelong was on the second channel on 7 Mate. They didn't have the confidence in it to put it on the main channel. And the AFL mm. cut the marketing budget by two thirds in mm. Sydney. Yep. Mm. Um, an observation to finish, Richard. So you're going to the Matildas game and you've got an old Lucas Neal shirt, but you want a Matilda shirt, this is what you do. I loved it from this guy. I don't think it's insulting to Lucas. I think it's positive to um, Sam Kerr. So well done to that spectator for his uh, innovation. Very good. Uh, we're going to close with the Matildas who are centre stage again on Wednesday night. See you next week. Great try. Oh, continues between the international superstars of football as the Matildas clash with Brazil in another spectacular battle. Tuesday, 7.30 on ABC2 and iView.